The news updates. President Buhari shows Peter Obi one simple thing to do if he's still not happy with Tenombo's victory. Welcome to today's news. And thank you for tuning in to the news. But you can as well subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. Please listen carefully to the end. The presidential election of Nigeria was conducted on the 25th February 2023 and the result of that election was announced in favour of Bola Ahmed Tinumbu of the All Progressives Congress, APC. Tinumbu was declared the winner of the election and the major opposition presidential candidates we are not happy with the outcome of the election. According to reports, it was said that the President of Nigeria has made a statement on the 25th February presidential election. If any of the disgruntled presidential candidates in the most recent general elections in 2023 are not happy with the results. President Momo Dubuari has urged them to seek legal recourse. In his Easter message delivered to Nigerians on Friday in Abuja, the president made the request. But Buhari thanked those who won the general elections in February and March. As a country, we recently underwent an election that resulted in the election of the new federal and state leaders. I applaud Nigerians for having faith in the procedure. While I applaud those who were elected, I recognize that those who are unhappy with the results have the right to appeal. I anticipate them to be patient and let our judicial system take its course. Since you granted me the first mandate in 2015 and renewed it in 2019, it has been a rare privilege for me to lead your country, he remarked. The president reaffirmed his commitment to upholding Nigerians' unity, prosperity, and security. The pledges I made to keep Nigeria secure, prosperous, and united have guided me every day. The backing of Nigerians made it possible for us to achieve achievements in a number of areas, including security, the economy, infrastructure, new oil frontier basins, historic legal reforms, and food sufficiency, among others. Let us do so in love, compassion, kindness, resilience, and forgiveness as we celebrate this season with our families, neighbors, and communities. Burari statements. On Easter, Easter Friday, whereby President Muhammad Dubawari talked concerning the presidential election that took place on the 25th, that he knows that some presidential candidates are not actually okay with the results in which the INEC announced. And if any of the disgruntled presidential candidates are not happy with the results, he urged them to seek legal redress because remember that after the presidential election whereby the president elect made a statement that whosoever is not happy with the results can seek legal redress and since then peter obi and other presidential candidates has written their petitions to the tribunal but Burari thanked everyone who won the elections both in February and March.
and also was telling Nigerians that we should all be patient. We should let our judiciary do their job, take its recourse. And he believes that if we can work in unity, if we can work in oneness, the things Nigerians are going to achieve will be achieved. The pledges that Buhari made to make sure that Nigerians are secured, funds are, being, are coming in, infrastructures are done, economy is boosted, there is food sufficiency. Buhari claimed he has done that and that we should join hands together with the president-elect Ashura Jubala Ahmed Tinubu, that is going to do more than what he has done. And the mandate that was first granted Burari in 2015 and was renewed in 2019, it did not take those privileges granted. He affirmed his commitments to uphold Nigerians' unity, prosperity and security. So concerning the Easter, he admonished Nigerians to work in love, compassion, kindness, resilience, and forgiveness this Easter and beyond so that everything can work well. We have come to the end of the news. What's your take? Kindly share your comments in the comment section. Thank you.